Hello, my name is Cesar and this is the video number 13 in the naming series. So, in the last video we did uh, this QT selector. Let me QT bindings or selector or whatever. Uh, to uh, find what QT bindings are available in the computer that's running this. It looks for PyQt5, PySight2 those run with Qt5 or PyQt4 and PySide those run with PyQt4 or sorry with Qt4 so if any of those is available it will use though it will use that otherwise it would just raise an exception and you basically cannot run this application uh, yes sorry okay so that was uh, the last video uh, so if I run this uh, PySide, you can see it here. Hello, PySide. This is running in Qt4. And if I run it with PySide 2, which is Qt5, you can see it, it's the same, looks the same. Uh, it's just using a different binding. So I, I happen to have both installed in this system. So that was the last video. Uh, for today, though, I would like to do something uh, about. The actual UI for 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 naming. So let me start the timer and do something. Let's code something. So the first thing uh, I would like to clean up this a little bit. Uh, so we have a main window. We might need a panel, or pane, or whatever. And this would be Qt widget. Qt widget. The Q widget. And uh, yes. And this will have a layout, so let's say layout, it's equal to qt widgets.q vertical box layouts. And then paint.set layout, uh, and we pass the layout. So we set the layout, and then we set a pane as the, yeah, like that. The central widget so now we should have an empty window which is fine exactly what's going on so now here in the middle we are going to uh, insert our widgets uh, this code is subject to change of course but you know so let me maybe center this that, that way or actually that way okay so to be honest i don't know what this ui will look like i don't have any you know thoughts on it so we do something very similar that I did with uh, naming, like the first videos, that I start like assuming some hard code uh, strings as a rule and tokens, and then we will figure out how to wire that up. So I will say we might want to be able to type a token. So let's create a, a, yeah. A, uh, sorry, a rule. So let's say active rule. It's equal to Qt widgets dot Q line edit, and maybe active rule dot set placeholder text, and we can say something like a uh, type. Uh, what's this rule pattern here? So the user can just type whatever pattern is he wants there if that's empty. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, then so let's uh, layout that add widget and we are going to add active rule. Nice. So we should have this uh, line edit and we have it there. Nice. Okay, next up, uh, we might need some tokens. So let's say uh, token list will be equal to Qt widget uh, dot uh, Q list view, maybe. And then a layout dot add widget. And we add the token list. And maybe here layout that add a stretch. OK, 
okay so there you go we have a both things a list and a a line edit and a, a list and that's the placeholder so good uh, so now we need to populate this list so this will come from naming the backend but in the meantime let's just have here tokens and have a list here uh, so I think we use a description size category type whatever just a list of tokens so we will need uh, in order to populate the, this uh, we will need a model because a list view so we can create like a talk uh, just let's say model for now qt widgets dot a q string list string list model nice and then i can say model dot set string list mod uh, yeah string list tokens so now that we have a model we can say token list that set model model so if i run this now this is populated so the cool thing about models is that uh, many talk many widgets can share that model uh, so whatever we add to this list it will be available on all the widgets it's gonna share between widgets in contrast to having to set the state on each element like like it would be in a queue list widget so this is kind of nicer so that's cool um, so for the active rule I would like to have suggestions you know just like when you do like a hashtag on Twitter or something that it suggests you uh, some common hashtags as you type I think that's cool uh, and if those su suggestions can come from the tokens that would be even better so let's do that uh, so QT have this thing called completer so let's say token completer it's equal to QT widget dot Q completer nice uh, token completer set model accept the model so we can reuse the model which is nice and now here we only have to do active rule dot set completer and we pass the token completer so if I run this I have the same thing and if I start typing the script I have description so maybe underscore side but then I don't have any suggestion so the thing is as uh, if it is yeah so the thing is the default behavior only give me one a suggestion and after that I am on my own uh, so I would like to change that so maybe if it's an underscore or something start a new suggestion so fortunately, we can uh, change the behavior of these things by subclassing the widgets. So let's create our first class and let's call it multi completer or something. And this will be Qt widgets dot Q completer. Uh, so this now we'll be using our subclass so this is multi completer so so far it should work exactly the same description nice category nice to that uh, now we need to figure out how to change that behavior uh, so if we go to the documentation of this uh, I can do it like that Q completer uh, and I look for virtual methods because you know can, those can be uh, 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 overridden so I will copy all this thing uh, yes just paste, paste it here 
So I have those two methods. So def I will define both of those. And this is uh, it accept an index self and an index. Nice. And this uh, will going to do this. dot uh, what's the name of this path from index and we pass in the index i want to print that value and i want to return that value so uh, we're basically not changing any of the behavior but just inspecting what's in there I'm going to do exactly the same here. Actually, I'm going to copy that. And this is split path. And this is path. Cool. So let's start by split path. So, yeah. Uh, split path. So here's the documentation. It says, uh, given the uh, splits the given path into strings that are used to match at each level of the model. Cool. That's cool. Uh, the default implementation is split the path uh, using the QD separator. If you're using a Q file system model, okay. Otherwise, when used with list model, this is our case. The first item in the return list is use for matching cool so we are basically not going to use this <laughs> instead because we are using a list model we are going to okay so what i need to do is a uh, path dot split and i'm going to split it with underscore for now right right and I'm going to take the last item of that and I'm going to put that in a list and that's all of it I think let me debug this so if I run the application I start typing the description nice underscore side I have the I have the suggestion there I don't know if you can see it okay but when I pick the suggestion now it changed the text on the widget so I need to fix that but the suggestion side of things is all right so that's great cool that was easy so now for the suggestion let me uh, so this is path from index, return the path for the given index, the completed object uses this to obtain the completed the completion text from the, the underlying model. The default implementation, uh, it return the absolute file if I'm using that, otherwise, okay. So it looks like if we are using that kind of model, a file system, it does some things useful for you, but that's not our case. So, Okay, so this give me something. Okay, let me see what what this giving me by, by default. Okay, same deal. So description, I have the suggestion. I will pick description, and it it give me description. Nice. So it give me when I pick something, it will give me that underscore cat. I pick category. Nice, and it it return whatever I pick. Okay, that makes sense. So what I want to do now is uh, get the text from the line edit. So that may be self dot widget, I think, dot text. The widget is a line edit. So let's say this is the current text, right? I want to split this. So split 
split text or something would be equal to uh, current text dot uh, reverse split maybe and we're going to split it with uh, that and maybe only one time so it start from the end to the beginning only one time okay yeah that may that may work okay and now I'm going to replace oops I cannot uh, take the last one and that would be equal to return value or suggestion let's let's use better names here and now uh, I want to return uh, underscore dot join and I'm going to use a split text so that should join and replace the last part of it I think that should do it let's try so if I do description underscore the category underscore scythe underscore uh, type nice nice so that's with by side let's try with by side too oh it doesn't have q string list model it's not in q widgets hmm interesting so this might be in QTUI, maybe? Yes. And see, another difference with uh, QT5, I have the placeholder there, even if I have the focus. So description, underscore, size, underscore, category, it, it works. Nice. So that would do it for this video. Uh, Yes, uh, so yeah, that would do it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.